What's going on, trainers? Troy back here with episode number 15 of Solo Q. If you guys don't know, where I take to any uh, rated doubles or singles. And, uh, yeah, so, um, as you guys see, I uh, like my new hat. I got a really cool uh, birthday gift for my friends, uh, Jesse and Jagger. I know they got my brother a gift, too, but, I mean, yeah, we got really good friends. So, um, let's uh, keep the good vibes going. Uh, we're going to get this uh, battle started. Uh, probably going to maybe one or two battles. We'll see. Um, before we get the battle started, let's try to get this battle up to 40 likes. Uh, you guys are doing really good with the like goal, so let's keep that up. So, yeah, um, first live episode uh, since my birthday, so thanks for all the birthday wishes. You guys are awesome. Um, other than that, yeah, re you know, regular stuff, regular stuff. So, finally get a um, an opponent. So, here's his uh, OU-ass team, because I see the... Uh, Fair Thorn, Talonflame, Aegislash, like, geez, you know, I, I got a, I got a Honchkrow, I got a Porygon, you know, it's whatever, it's whatevs. So, I want to open up with Cronaut, because I see a few fire types. Um, I want to bring in Flygon because of the Fair Thorn, it can kind of take it out, you know, and... Duh, 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 duh. Okay, uh, da, 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 let me... Okay, so we got that. He's still picking a team. I already got my team. I just want to just do some other stuff. So, uh, I, I'm per probably he might not bring the town flame more Volcarona because he sees the Crawdon. He probably went for Aegislash because, like, what else is he going to go? And um, maybe the Gengar. I don't know. Let's think about 3v or, or solo queue or rated singles battle spot. I mean, you, you, you pick six, choose three. Or you choose six and pick three. I don't know. So, I don't give a crap what this guy does. Let's try about trying to position the camera. So, it opens up with a pair of keys. I mean, I could have been more scared. You know? Just cleft key. It's probably going to thunder wave me. It's always good for. Uh, I think I sh I can Dragon Dance. I just want to buff up my attack. I really... I, I could knock off. Because I really don't want to, like... I don't want him to have his item. Maybe. Let's see. Or he might switch. But there's no really reason. If he open up Klefki, he just wants to get a free Thunder Wave. And uh, he'll go from there. So let's see. So he's not going to reflect. Okay. So I'm going to double his defenses for a few turns. I get a free Swords Dance still. I think I can get another Swords Dance um, up. I mean, a Dragon Dance. Sorry, not Swords Dance. <laughs> if Crawdon can get Swords Dance, oh man, we're, we're going to have some problems. Now he's going to um, either switch or uh, Thunder Wave. So he's going to Thunder Wave. That's fine. I still Dragon Dance. I don't care. This Clef Key can't do much. I know he kind of set up for his team. I, I'm setting up for myself. So yeah, um, let's see what happens. Hmm. Now this time I could crab hammer, get some damage. But I mean, I really don't want. I, I want to know what item he has. I know knockoff won't be very effective, but but gosh darn, I don't want his item. Honestly, what's he gonna do? He's gonna uh, play rough. Or not play rough, um, foul play. Hmm, I got 30 seconds. I'm going to close my eyes and hit knockoff. So it's going to light screen now. It doesn't, I don't think that matters either. I think every Pokemon I picked was, um, a physical. Oh, I can't move. Damn it. Crap. That's, that's heavily unfortunate how I'm already, I, I'm already, um, paralyzed. I couldn't move, so that sucks. Uh, geez, let's see what happens. Crap, that that's just... I didn't want that. I, that was free damage, and then I can cr crab him on the certain... Like, what's he going to do now? He can't reflect or light screen. He's, he's going to have to foul play me and attack me, unless he wants to switch out, but then that'd be a free switch. And I've got two swords. Yeah, the foul play. So that actually might kill me now that I think about it. No, it's actually going to do an okay amount of damage. Let's see what item the guy had, and it was a light clay. Well then. 
So now I still know that this guy's faster than me. I have no choice but to uh, Aqua Jet because, you know, Paralyze just, you know, nerfs my speed so much. Couldn't kill it. Gonna foul play. That's gonna kill me. Kind of a bad thing that I was paralyzed, and maybe I should have switched out earlier, but, eh, what are you gonna do? So, gonna bring out, um, Flygon. He can't Thunder Wave me. Reflect should be running out soon, so Clive Key not really gonna do much. The only thing that sucks is, um, I don't know what he's gonna switch into. I'm gonna Earthquake just to be safe. I could've... Nah, I wanted to fire punch, but he could have gone into Talon Flame. But even if he did go into Talon Flame, then it would have been Earthquake. He wouldn't have hit anyway. But I probably should have switched in with Flygon earlier than I would have been Thunder Wave, period, you know? But I didn't know he'd reflect. Who reflects anymore, honestly? Now I really wish I would have fire punch, because he's probably going to bring out Ferrothorn right now. I don't like Ferrothorn at all. Even though I can deal with it. I mean, I got. I've got um that one guy, I got Honchkrow in the back. But he's probably going Age of Slash right now. Maybe, he's thinking. Or he has Gengar, which would really suck. But I don't see any of his team hurting mine. Like, the only thing that stops Flygon are Dragon and Ice, and I didn't see any of that. So Flygon can take a good 2 3 hits, which is. which, which could help. So I'm going Volcarona. Ooh. Okay. Okay. See what you got there, bro. I don't know why I didn't switch into it earlier. So I think I'm faster. Well, no, if he max speed, no, it'd be a speed tie if uh, like that. Okay. Well, then he gets a free quiver dance. Um, I have no choice but the earthquake. Let's see how much damage it does. So he's gonna. So he is faster. He's gonna quiver dance. So that that's already unfortunate. Uh, I think Reflect is still up, but uh, but this Volcarona really can't do much to me. I know it's got the Quiver Dance, but that that's not that's not that much. And without that Reflect, it would have probably done a lot more damage. So since I'm at full health again, I'm just going to, um, I'm just I'm just going to do that. So let's see how much this Bug Buzz does. I don't I don't think it's going to do much. No, it it, it gets me. Okay, uh, my bad. Didn't. Miscalculated that one. Then, then there, was, there was a reflect. I mean, without a reflect, he probably would have died to that. So the cleft key did his job, obviously. So I got a Skype. Okay. I'm thinking about just night slashing. I know he's faster than me too. Which sucks. Or I can foul play, but that that won't. That won't. I'll just night slash. Night slash should kill. He wave might not kill. I don't know. No, it does kill me. Oh, crit! <laughs> Damn. I mean, yeah, I got crit. What, what can you do? Well, that was uh, that was a great battle, I guess. So, oh, I forgot to mention our current record was six and four. Now it's six and five. So that's that's that, and we already start off this episode with a loss. Cool. So um, let's let's do another battle. That one felt kind of quick, and I f it felt like I didn't like it. Okay, let's try getting the next battle very quickly. Oh yeah, I should move on to at least one or two Q and A's. Forgot about that too, man. I am just not on my game for the uh, for uh, the live episodes. I just I just haven't done live episodes in like four days. I'm up like. Forgot how to do them. So, yeah, pull up the uh, question and answer comments. Ooh, a little tired, a little late. So, 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 so. I got this one a few hours ago. This one's from the Speed Dog 001. He says, "Any chance you'll make an EV tutorial in the near future?" I think he said something else at the end of this too. I'm not sure. Um, let's see. Um, oh yeah, no. So, um, any EV tutorials? I mean, what what will I say that again? No one else has ever said. I, I'm pretty sure my brother has an EV IV tutorial 
I mean, and I, I, anything that might confuse you, just try to just look up other guides. I mean, if if you need, if you want to message me privately for any things that I might know in tips, but I mean, honestly, me making a video about it, I mean, I don't want to be that guy, but like, like honestly, I'm gonna say the same exact things. I don't know. It's not like it's my opinion. It's something else that's in the game. But I, I swear, I, probably there's a hundred of these things on YouTube. Or websites I mean you have to look hard enough but I mean if you want any of my tips yeah I can definitely tell you like I don't know the uh, you know horror training I think is the best IV breeding you just get a ditto or you know get lucky enough to get a ditto I don't know how to IV brew without one <laughs> um, and then yeah breed like that uh, so that that's about it on that topic I mean um, one more this one comes from uh, another another commenter who always comments Q and A's Shadow Sword Twelve. Uh, he said, "Happy birthday!" So thanks. Um, Q and A follow up to my last question: Have you ever thought about doing egg or nuzlocke team battles? And I'm like, oh, that could work out, but except for I never really do. I don't don't really know how the nuzlocke egg egg teams work. I mean, if someone told me about them, I'd probably figure that out and you know do something. But uh, maybe that's something in the near future. Maybe so. Uh, thanks for the Q&As. Uh, please leave more Q&As. That'd be great. So, getting back to the battle. I already got in a battle with somebody. Um, pretty decent team. I can take it. He might open up with the um, that Krusty's Pokemon, that little crab thing. I want to open up with Rhyperior. I think that could work. I want to go Porygon Z, just in case I want to go... I can... I think Flygon could do something. Let's let's bring him Flygon. I'm really sad that this Honchkrow, it's my super luck Honchkrow, but it doesn't have Sucker Punch. I don't know why. I was battling earlier. I was like, why doesn't it have Sucker Punch? It has Night Slash and Foul Play. I'm like, why would I give it Foul Play? It really doesn't need it. It needs Sucker Punch. Night Slash, yeah, but I mean, it really needs Sucker Punch. So I gotta, I gotta make some changes. That's another thing. Last battle it didn't have Sucker Punch. I had the Night Slash, and I get one shot by a Volcarona. It happens. So this guy's still picking his team. I mean, I, I took my time. I talked to you guys, and I was like, huh, it's still going. Let me get a drink. Bit late, but who cares? Da, 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 da. So yeah, this is battle number two of Solo Q. Just chilling. Relax and I was back now. Shoot some b-ball outside of school. Okay, so yeah, he opens up with this this Pokemon. I I always forget its name. It's like it's like rock. It's like a rock crusty thingy. Uh, I don't even know. Crustal. That's the Pokemon. I knew it was like crust something. Crustal. It's a Gen 5, so I never played black or white, so I wouldn't know what it is. I know. I think I'm faster in it, too. So, no point. Of, I don't think there's a point of opening up with Stealth Rock. I mean, the, the, it's it's 3v3. I mean, whoever gets the first jump on each other first, who are like one shots, and, you know, it turns to a 2v3, it really works. Like, Stealth Rock doesn't do much. I knew it had sturdy. That's fine. Um, and he's faster than me, which is heavily unfortunate, but that's whatever. Um, I'm going to Earthquake this time, so I don't risk the Stone Edge miss. So he's going to X Scissor. Doesn't do much. No, those things, they don't pack that much of a punch. I mean, the defense on that guy is pretty crazy. It gets 300 attack and a decent amount of HP, but I doubt he put anything into attack. It just set up rocks, and that's all he's good for. But I mean, I give this guy a bunch of credit for using that the crustle because that thing doesn't get used enough. See what I did there? But yeah, um, will I ever use it in a possible not use enough episode? Probably not. That guy, I just don't. I don't think it's. I just don't like it. I don't like the way it looks. I just don't like it. So he's got chestnut. He's got a really good, um, whatever grass move is for my Rhyperior. I don't want to, don't want to get hit by it, totally. So I think I should switch. Gonna go into 
Por maybe Porygon Z can take a hit. No, I think Flygon can take more of a hit. So I'm going to bring in Flygon. And Flygon's got um, Fire Punch, so I can do that. Why is this like that? Okay, that, that works. I'm trying to fix everything. So yeah, I had Seed Bomb. That's fine. Didn't do much. He might spike his shield, which I really could. He can do it. I don't care. And I actually don't think this Fire Punch is going to kill. I mean, Flygon is choice banded this time, not Scarf. Flygon is banded. You know what? Now that I realize, I used Flygon my last solo key episode, so I feel weird using him again. I don't care. Flygon's a beast. I mean, I'm going to make the case he's better in Guard Shop at some times. At least if you're in a UU battle, I, I, I'd take Flygon, you know. He's, Flygon's like a, you know, yeah, it's a little weaker version of than uh, Garchomp. But, I mean, Flygon, look at this thing. It's badass. He needs a Mega. Mega Flygon confirmed, please. So let's see how much this Fire Punch does. Um, not as much as I wanted to, actually. And the Seed Bomb is going to finish off the job, I think. No, I live with four health. Hell yeah. But he's going to Spiky Shield me, so I have to switch out. Well, that's that, that kind of sucks. So I'm going to go into Porygon Z. Because I know this thing isn't as specially defensive as his defenses are. Because I knew... Because look at that Fire Punch. It did no damage. It was so sad. I was like... Wow. Oh, well. So... Stealth Rock's done really do much. Porygon Z. Let's see what I get to download. On the special attack. Awesome. I'm also Choice Scarfed on Porygon Z this time if anyone wanted to know. So I know I'm going to be faster this time around. And I've got a nice Ice Beam for this guy. And it should one-shot because of uh, the download and I just have a shitload of um, special attack because I'm Porygon Z. I like him out of all the other Porygons, you know, because it just looks cool. So the spiky shield, not really going to do much to me. He can do it all he wants. He gets the free leftovers, that's fine. Uh, what was my last Pokemon I had? Uh, Rhyperia, that's right. I did hate having to switch Porygon Z, and I probably should have let Flygon die before, but I think I can bring out Flygon still using it. So, this Ice Beam gonna kill, so that that works. That works. Um, that helps out. And, uh, yeah, as I said, you know, no special defense at all. Brings out the Dragalge. Um, good thing I'm locked into Ice Beam, because that's the kind of move I'd want to be locked into if I go against a Dragon. And I know I'm faster because of the Choice Scarf, unless this guy's Scarf, but I doubt it. So yeah, I knew I was faster on the while I said before. And this kind of cleans him up, not really. He's going to get the Air Balloon pop for some reason, has Air Balloon. Dragon Tail going to land. Not going to kill, but it's going to switch me out into whatever comes out. And it is Flygon. Stealth Rock's going to finish me off. Good Dragon Tail. I, I see what the guy was trying to do. I Now it makes sense after it brings out Dragalge. With the um, with the uh, stealth rock crustal, and then you just drag and tail the stealth rock thing going. It's just it's an infinite loop like that. It works. So let's see what this download gives me. Attack, but I don't care. I mean, a uh, nice little ice beam should finish this off, and that will be game. Good game to this guy, sir. I mean, I just bought brought better Pokemon. As I said in the last Solo Queue episode. Whatever you bring out of your six, it comes down to a little bit of luck where it makes or breaks what you pick. I mean, he picked a dragon against my, you know, coverage special sweeper that has Ice Beam. I mean, it just happens. So, thanks for watching Solo Queue, guys. Um, yeah, no no real big updates. If anything happens, you know, I try to just do it at, a, at, a, at, a, at the time I have it. But nothing really. Just taking everything the same, you know, regular episodes. Duo Queue will be after this. Then after that, not used enough, so be on the lookout for that. You guys have a great and wonderful day. Good luck in all your next battles. And as always, I will see you guys next time.